Hi, my name is Sarah Brellier, and for my Teach One assignment, I'm doing Assess Information Needs. So let's get started. First, let's talk about understanding what a strategic information system is, also known as SIS. An SIS is a computer system usually used by hospitals in the form of electronic health records. They often give organizations a competitive advantage and over time help organizations become very profitable because they have speed and efficiency. There are three types of decision making that we first need to learn about. First is operational, which are decisions made that involve daily operations made by workers and supervisors. Second is managerial decision making, which revolves around a mid-level manager that primarily decide on employment, hiring, and motivating staff. Third is strategic decision making, which involves high-level organization leaders they make calls such as missions and goals for the organization and making sure everything in the business plan is running smoothly. Next, let's talk about the weaknesses within SISs. One main problem is that most cases, they do not account for the future. It usually tries to fix problems in the current or with the, within six months from now but neglects to foresee the future. Next weakness is only concerning feedback from users. This can be a big problem with the lack of knowledge and expertise portrayed by users. We need to ask more than just the users on the, their feedback. They have a very little window of knowledge in the area. They only know what they want. You need to give them what they want but more importantly, you need to also get the information across to a wide range of people. Last weakness is cognitive limitations, such as blocking out failures and not willing to want, not willing to try new things. In conclusion, there needs to be a balance between what clients want and what the organization needs to be successful. There are four simple steps for an organization to be successful. First, you need to identify the issue, figure out the needs for that issue, categorize and prioritize information, and allocate a plan for collecting data and strategize. So first, we need to identify the issue that arose within the SIS or within the healthcare information organization. Second, figure out needs for that issue. This can be done several ways with discussion groups and strategies called Delphi's. This helps get a better understanding while bouncing ideas off one another along with having an expert opinion. Also consider outside factors and make a list of new strategies and outcomes. Next, categorize and prioritize information. This is often done by a system analysis group who break up responses and organize by importance and most relevant. Also, determine which information needs are essential. Next, allocate a plan for collecting data and strategize. Make a plan for how the data will be collected and analyzed. Determine how and when the data will be collected and figure out a plan on where and how often it will be collected to make the most effective system. So how can data be collected? There's four different ways. First is essential information, which is pretty self-explanatory. It is information with a high importance in the collecting of data. Second is rapid collection items which follow right behind essential information data. Rapid collection also have a high priority because they are usually on a larger range and are needed in short notice. Third way of collecting data is through periodic information items, which is likely unimportant data but can be vital at one time or another. And lastly is a low priority item, which are low importance and very low range, so they can Barely, very rarely used in analysis.
In conclusion, if an SIS is flawed, it can directly affect the organization. There needs to be a plan, not just a plan for now, but also a plan that includes further than six months from now. Follow the four steps, and if done correctly, an organization's SIS should run smoothly. Give consumers fast access to needed information and create a successful organization.